Hello. All right. Oh, uh, so much to talk about, but I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Um, foistings foist. Uh, we got Moon in Pisces. Just entered Pisces, and it'll be there for the next two days. Like I always say, whenever this happens, since Neptune is in Pisces too, this is every month we have about two days that are really emotional, very trippy, very um, mystical, imaginative, sensitive. And even people who generally maybe aren't quite as connected to the subconscious and their feelings are very connected during this time. So this is a, a really wonderful opportunity, especially since we have all this Capricorn energy going on and Mercury and Capricorn in particular with Jupiter. This is a wonderful time to ask yourself, okay, what what is my ideal version of 2020? What can I see for myself that, that I would really love to experience? What is my dream 2020? And to, to focus on that feeling guiding you forward instead of this Capricorn energy. Again, all energy is not good or bad. It has its own gifts. And there, the gift of this Pisces energy is to be able to imagine a, a bigger future than this Capricorn energy necessarily would imagine. Capricorn energy, especially these energies, are a lot more practical. They're much more like, okay, what can I see right in front of me for sure that is a... A, a sure thing and that has its value too and it's very practical and that's what's really good with this Pisces energy because Pisces energy can be a little bit impractical is once we have the vision once we have this ideal of okay this is what I want for 2020 that's when the cap energy comes in and makes the vision a reality so it's important to lead with the feelings right now for the next two days and to be charting oh that's perfect too yeah because that's <laughs> it's literally the last couple of days of 2019 um, to be charting what we want to be experiencing for 2020, what we want to build, what we want to create, and then this cap energy to get started on it right away. Honestly, um, I feel like 2020 has already begun energetically because what this whole next year is about is Jupiter and Saturn in cap. They're already in cap. Um, we have Sun in cap. Mercury just entered cap two days ago. So I really feel like it started two days ago where it's like, cool, all the energies are now moving forward. They're all they're all together in Capricorn, and, and that's what 2020 is all about. So the next two days is really good to focus on again what's your ideal and if you're having a tough time um it's a good time to get introspective and ask yourself okay why am i some people are going to feel depressed um why am i feeling depressed what's the core cause what do i need to do practically that's the big thing here is practically speaking what do i need to do to be able to change my my energy and i think a big thing with this is um not discounting the role of the body a lot of people are going to feel a lot better if you just go out for a walk, if you go and work out, um, if you do something practical, if you work, uh, if you do something that will allow you to move forward. If people are going to have experienced depression right now. I mean, I can't generalize for everybody, of course, but a lot of people who are experiencing depression are going to, or any kind of negativity are going to be coming from a place of frustration, of not feeling like they're being active and accomplishing their goals and moving forward in society and in, in the world. Um, in their own path, most importantly, on their own path. So focus on being practical in handling your emotions and you'll make the best of, of this time and be able to overcome any challenges. So again, 2020 has already pretty much begun um, and, and it's a really exciting thing. Uh, if you're not feeling excited, if you need some guidance, of course, I offer readings as always. Or if you wanna, if you're feeling good, whatever, whatever, you know, I'm always open for readings. So um, come, uh, come give me a call or uh, better yet, send me an email. That's a lot better way to get a hold of me. And the info for my contact info is the in the about section of this YouTube video or my bio section on Instagram. Peace, infinite love to you, my friends. Namaste. Happy end of 2019 and the beginning of a brand new awesome decade.